Okay, what's up everybody? Hey, check it out. Listen, after looking at this thumbnail and then listen, if you've been outside today, you know it's already starting to warm up, you know? So listen, if you're looking for a recipe that uh, uh not heat up your house and make something over the top, then guess what? This is real kid friendly. Today we're getting ready to do, check this one out. We're finna do pool chicken sliders. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, now we, what we're gonna do right now is just go over some of these ingredients, right? You can see, it. okay, so starting off, you see I got a cast iron skillet. I got buns right there. You should know what that mean already. That mean I'm getting ready to toast them buns, right? So I got an assortment of, uh, you know, seasonings right there. Those are everything on the side. And then, of course, we're gonna be doing it. And you know, what's gonna be the star? That's our crock pot. Now, don't trip. The full ingredient list is on my website, which is smokingandgrillingwithab.com. And that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Okay, folks, so look, I really didn't, uh, you know, show you guys this. Listen, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and change my gloves and all of that. But you see this right here? Like, they leave some skin. If you look underneath the bottom under here, sometimes you find a little fat. Don't worry, that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use that for flavor, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these. They've already been cleaned, by the way. You know, I already washed them and did all of that. I'm gonna set these to the side. Let me get my gloves. You know what I mean? A new set of gloves. And then we finna go ahead and grate some onions. All right, so look, first thing I'm gonna do is, Let's get this uh, this onion grated, right? So I'm only gonna need about a quarter cup. So I'll just set this over here like this. You see this little layer right here? I wanna get rid of this last little layer. You know what I mean? It's like super thin anyway. Takes off all of that, right? So I'll put this in the trash, put this over here. I think I'm gonna use this in, all right? Now, using this box grater, right? Obviously, that's large. That's super fine, and that's more in the middle. Now, the reason we doing the grating, why? Because I tell you guys all the time, listen, we grate small for flavor, right? Larger for texture, right? But seeing how it's gonna be in this crock pot for a minute, this right here is gonna be real nice, folks. You know what I mean? This is all probably gonna disintegrate. You know what I mean? We are gonna probably do it for about five hours. You know what I mean? But look at that right there. Now, we only wanna get about a quarter cup. It's probably gonna take all of the, uh, the complete onion just to probably get that or close to it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna come up with. Don't forget, when you grate small like this, this right here will disintegrate and give us that good, you know, that good flavor. All right, so look, I got a medley of, you know, ingredients right here. Don't forget, that's always on my website. And you know what, now they are printable. And then for you guys that don't wanna, uh, you know, print them out, you can just go ahead and just, you know what, here's one for you, take a screenshot. But either way, all of the ingredients with the amounts and the written instructions are there too. You guys might want to read it as you watch it, but you see that I just mixed this up together. This is like super easy, folks. And remember, with it being hot outside right now, like why would you want to heat up your house, right? Use your crock pot. Come up with like super uh, good, you know, results. Now, chicken. Now we just go ahead and put this on here like this. Use it all, folks. That's a lot of chicken in there. And you know, we got a season. Go ahead and get you whatever you're gonna use to, you know, mix it all up. Actually, I'm gonna get in here with my hand. I'm doing this for you guys, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause the food police be out there, you know, talking, I got it. And I'm running through these gloves. You know what, sometimes it's easier to just use your hand. You know what I mean? Just wash your hands. Okay, so once you see it's fully coated, oh, you know what, let me go ahead and address this part. When you buy boneless, skinless chicken thighs or any chicken from the, you know, a grocery store, you know how I be having them in pieces on there. And listen, I am not gonna take that off cause look, that's my flavor. Don't worry, I got a way. I, you guys gonna like what I do cause we gonna separate all that fat from the chicken, you know, them cooked chicken juices along with this, you know, the seasoning. And this is what you wanna have right here. You see that right there? Now we in the game. Okay, so now that we seasoned our chicken, right? Now we just dump this inside. And what I'm thinking is calling this like a dump and go, right? But you can see, look at the color on that. That's a well seasoned job right there. All right, now, remember this? We had them onions. Let's go ahead and put them onions in there. Remember, that's grated onions, folks. And I know I ain't said nothing yet, but don't forget, we gotta have that, you know, hot soapy water, right? I'm just giving this a little mix. You know what I mean? Not to do too much. Okay, so after I mix the grated, you know, onion on there, right? I'm gonna be using my barbecue sauce. Here it is right here, right? Look, I'm just showing you this right here because I've already taken it out. I measured it out because we need about three quarters cup, right? So. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this, use my spatula, you know what I mean? Cause you know it's gonna be thick, right? So when you take it out, you wanna get everything. If you measured out three quarters of a cup, if you leave all that residue on there, you, you know what? That means you didn't get it all out. So I like to get it all, right? 
and I reserve some later, you know, for later. Now, I'm not finna, you know, spread this all over, just lightly do it. I'm not finna tumble it or nothing like that. Cause listen, the heat for five hours is gonna melt all of this down, get everything real viable, and it's gonna start working on that chicken, right? So that's all you need to do. I'm gonna put this lid on there. Now we're getting ready to set the temperature. Okay, so look, this is what we're doing. We hit the power. That's high cook. We're gonna go with low. And then we're gonna go for five hours, right? So I'm gonna hit my time up. And one cool thing about this crock pot right here, listen, when I'm done, it sets itself to low, you know, just to really like warm, and it goes from there, right? So I hit start, and I'll see you guys in about five hours. Okay, so look, I only got a couple of more minutes before my timer goes off on my, you know, my crock pot, right? So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to go ahead and brown, you know, my buns. You guys don't have to do that. A lot of times when you go to the restaurants or whatever, they don't do it. I'm gonna be using this Duke's mail. I know we can go ahead and get that debate going, like who has the best, Dukes, Hellman's, best foods. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys let me know. You know, so I just put a little light layer on here. You know what I mean? Uh, the more you put on here, the more it kind of like steams and softens up the bun. Bun, it's up to you guys how you like it. You know, so let me finish this. I'm heating up my cast iron right now. Okay, so look, let me, let me show you guys something. When I put my, let me do it this way. You know, sometimes when you put your bun in there, it kind of like domes up and you'll get the edges done, you know, nice and crispy and brown, but not just the center. So listen, I have a burger press. This is a great weight, weighs about three pounds. You can put this right over the top and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean, right? So I'm gonna do it like this just to keep it simple, right? We'll put it like that. And then listen, you can always just put this right here on the top like that and voila. And if I be quiet, you can kind of like hear it starting to like, you know, like sizzle a little bit. I don't know if you guys are catching that, but you can put this right on the top and this will get the whole flat, you know, keep your bottom bun and your top bun nice and flat and get it brown perfectly. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check them. That's what we want to have. Let's look at that one. Yes, sir. Almost look like the McDonald's cheeseburger, huh? All right, so now I'll do these other two. And then we just put this right here on the top and let them work. Okay, and then when you get done, they should all look like about this, however you want them to go. But listen, that's what we want. I guess I could have went. You just want to toast your buns. All right, let me set this off to the side. My timer went off. Now it's time to go ahead and pull the chicken out. Okay, so look, now we're going to go ahead and open this up. Right? Look at that right there. Now we can just move this around here. You're gonna see a little fat over here on the top. That's okay, and before I shred, ooh, I don't wanna like beat it up. You know what, cause I wanna take it out and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the chicken, right? The reason I got a plate, cause listen, it's gonna drip some, that's fine. We wanna get all of that. You know what I mean, we are gonna put it all back anyway. But what we are doing now is just the flavor from the chicken, right? And then the barbecue sauce and then all of the seasoning that's all in here that has been marinating and been cooking for five hours together right i don't want to go ahead and shred in this yet i just want to get this out okay so you see what this is this is the, what you, we call a fat separator right now if you look right here this has like a little strainer you know what i mean we pour everything on here so any meat or any solids or anything to get caught in here we could take it out right and then the liquid to go here to fat rise at the top Notice the spout is down at the bottom and this allow us to pour it back in there pure, right? So I'm gonna do it like this. We just go ahead, pour this over here just like you see. Then I'm gonna put this back. My crock pot is still on warm. Now I'm gonna let this rest for just one second. You know what I mean? And we are gonna let all of the fats and everything rise towards the top. And then as we pour, look at this, how this works. And then everything that comes here will come off the bottom and that'll get us them pure juices. And now we are gonna reintroduce, you know, our chicken. Then you wanna take yourself two forks and then we start to shred. So after five hours, dark meat, look at how this shreds. Oh my goodness. And to be honest with you, I would put this out for everybody to make their own, you know, sandwiches together. You know what I mean? So I would probably like just use this the actual what we cooked it in, you know, the pot, and just put them out here. But you guys can see and get the gist of it right here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. 
And then once you have it shredded down to your desired, you know, shred. The reason I say that, because some people like it to be a little bit more chunky. You know what I mean? Uh, this is about like the way I like for it to look. Like, look at this right here. You see that right there? That's cool right there. Now, oh man, it's nice and soft. You know, then I check, make sure no pieces of, you know, no big chunky pieces in there. Now, remember we saved, you know, some of that sauce or juice that it had made, right? It, it serves a purpose. This is what we're gonna do. Now, this is all of the, I guess we just call that the incidental stuff that's like on the top, right? I'll set this off over here to the side. I'm gonna remove my stopper. And as you let it sit up, all of the fats and everything kind of like just, you know, rises to the top. I don't know if you guys can see that right now, but you can see it has a layer, right? So everything in here is pure. So what I do is now I just pour a little bit of this in here just to make it a little bit more, you know, tasteful, right? Without all of the fat, you guys got it. Now, according to the recipe, right? We had to reserve some barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna just stick this here. And now I'm gonna add a little bit here. Okay, so look, I give me some pickles. I made myself some corn, you know, some coleslaw. And now it's time for me to go ahead and to assemble. Now you guys do it however you would like to. It really isn't no right way or no wrong way to do these. It depends on how big you want them to be. You know what I mean? I have a tendency to making things huge, folks. You know what I mean? So I'll put that there. Go in here, get myself a little bit of this coleslaw. Put this right here on top. And then I don't know about y'all, but I love pickles. You know what I mean? You guys let me know down in the comment section below, what type of pickles do you like? You like dill or do you like them to be sweet, like bread and butter? Bread and butter is my favorite, folks. And I put this on the top like that, and there you have it. I'll lift this up right now so you guys can see it. Look at that. But I'm gonna put that one right there. We finna make one more. Okay, folks, look, the only thing left to do is to take a bite. You know what I mean? So I'm just finna go in here and dig right in, right? Cheers, y'all. Mm. <laughs> hey, that right there is fire, folks. Listen, you're looking for something easy to make, huge on flavor, you know what I mean? We made it inside the kitchen. We didn't heat up, you know, using our oven, using your crock pot. It's almost like really like a dump and go. Just a few ingredients, budget friendly. This is the thing right here. And listen, I'm gonna say this too, it's kid friendly too. You make these, you probably gotta make probably about, just double the recipe so you can feed, you know, the whole block. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? You know how I do. I'm out. Peace.